In the summer of 1916, it looked like the Central Powers were on the defensive and might even fall. The Italians had halted an Austro-Hungarian offensive in the Battle of Asiago. Bulgarian troops were halted in Albania by a joint Italian-French army, and in Arabia, the Ottomans were dealing with insurrections. The British Somme offensive was slowly pushing back the Germans in the west, but closer to Romania, the Central Powers lines across Eastern Europe were rapidly crumbling under the Russian Brasilov Offensive. Despite Romania's neighbor Serbia being crushed the previous year, and two central powers on her border, the Entente powers were able to offer a deal Romania couldn't resist. Despite the British military mission advisor, Christopher Thompson, being sent to report on Romania's military capabilities coming back negative, the politicians went full steam ahead. The terms of the Bucharest Treaty of 1916 was in effect to double the size of Romania in the post-war era. To reward her entry into the Entente war effort, five additional regions would be added to the country, Transylvania, Kresanen, Maramuz, and Banat, be handed over without pause, while the southern majority of the Bukovina region, left of the Purit River, would be handed over. Militarily, Russian troops would be sent to the Romanian border to bolster the country's military, as well as launch a new offensive against Austro-Hungary while the other powers would launch an offensive at the same time from the Salonika front. On the 17th of August 1916, representatives from Romania, Britain, France, Russia, and Italy ratified the treaty. Further agreements not written at this time was the notion that France would help the Romanian government acquire regions in Russian-owned Bessarabia. Britain and France would ship large stocks of war material to be delivered to Romania to ease supply difficulties. Ten days later, on the 27th of August, the King of Romania, the last person to allow or stall Romania's entry into the war, agreed to move forward. That day, almost a half million Romanians marched into Austro-Hungary's Carpathian Mountains. 